Are you looking for a place to sell your digital products? You see lots and lots of videos out there about how to make these digital products and how to make passive income. But once you create the product, how do you sell it? You don't have to stick to just one platform. Last week, I shared some ideas of digital products that you could make. I showed you a platform called Canva that you can create those digital products. What I want to do today is share four different platforms that you can sell these digital products on. And at the end, I came up with another idea of a great way to make money making a digital product. So stick around and make sure you, you hear about that one. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Etsy is a great place to sell digital products. And when I talk about digital products, I'm talking more about something that you just download instantly. The buyer doesn't have to wait for their product to come to them. They just get it. They hit a button and it comes to them as soon as they pay for it. That's instant passive income. You make the product once and then you sell it on different platforms over and over and over again. This one is a great place to go. Actually, it's my favorite, Etsy. Um, you can put as many digital products on here as you want. Now, one of the things I wanna talk about today about these different platforms is cost. Um, a lot of times people will tell you these, these platforms are free and they're free until you sell usually. There's usually transaction fees. So you wanna make sure you go in and look at all the fees before you post something because honestly, nothing is free out there. It may not cost you anything to produce the product, but it might cost you something to sell the product. These platforms, some of them will uh, charge you a monthly fee and a lot of them will just won't charge you until you sell the product. So they'll take a transaction fee or they may ask you for a listing fee and it could be as low as 20 cents. That's what it is right now on Etsy, just 20 cents to list your product. Now, remember that product will list for 20 cents for about four months. You can set it up for an automatic renewal or you can say, hey, once it expires, I want to manually review it, uh, renew it myself. So the fees aren't high, but if you sell several products, it, it all adds up and you'll still make a profit. And it saves you money on trying to have a website or something like that. That's what's nice about using these other platforms. And Etsy is a platform that everybody's already coming to looking for things. So it's definitely my favorite. Now, the next one I want to share is called PayHip. Dot com. Payhip is a little bit different. You can create and download all your products here and you're kind of making a store. Now, people don't come to Payhip looking for a store per se, like they might not um, post, hey, I'm looking for a calendar or I'm looking for wedding invitations. What happens is you have to put yourself out there. So you might go to Instagram or Twitter, Facebook and share that you have a cookbook, for instance. I have one showing here. And then people can click the link to get your cookbook right here. It says visit my store and your store is set up on PayHip. So this one's a little bit different, but if you have several products, it's definitely something you wanna look into. Now, once you go into PayHip, you might say, hey, I'm looking for a certain buyer. I'm looking for a certain store for a certain person, and then you can look for it. So it is a little bit different. It's not quite like Etsy, but definitely, again, a place for you to create a store you could do the same thing on Amazon, actually. I don't have it listed, but Amazon actually does the same thing. And then you can go out and advertise your goods, if that makes sense. PayHip also just has transaction fees. So you wanna go in and just look at that. They have some pricing and things like that. I found another one called Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E, and it's very similar to PayHip where you're kind of selling, you're setting up your store and you're directing your traffic to your store. Again, it's a great way to make several products, have a place to put them, and then people can come and buy them. And again, you have to use your social media platforms to drive your traffic to here. I was really excited about this next one. eBay is a great place to put your products. You can sell PDF products here. If, if you go ahead and Google that, you can find it. But as I was looking for different products to sell on eBay, I wanted to show that to you. I found a whole bunch of Excel templates. If you are really, really good at Excel, I highly recommend that you make up some templates and sell them. Most people, when they look at Excel, this is what they look at. They see a blank form and they have no idea what to do with it. I use Excel a lot, but I use it more as a chart to track things like my 
my expenses and, and keep track of stuff for my for my taxes. But I don't use a lot of formulas. I might use the, you know, adding and subtracting or may, maybe averaging. But there are a lot of things that you can do on here that I don't even know how to do. So if you're really, really good with using Excel, I would highly recommend that you make some templates and sell those as your PDF products. Because just here on eBay, there's tons of them personal balance sheet, net worth statement, budget spreadsheet for Windows. You know, they're selling them for seven to $26. I'm just gonna let you scroll here and see the different things. And it's all Microsoft. Most, most computers, they can put it right into their Excel and use it. Somebody here made a library card template. It's an, again, made on Excel. So there you go. I gave you some ideas of where you can sell your products after you make them. Anybody, if you have any other ideas of where these products can be sold, please share them in the comments below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching.